Next few days were calm and boring. Going through the cameras back at home, I didn't find any clue. All the men were mostly down, 30 or some, by too impressive. Well, there is one clip that I played on the screen on loop. He's an impressive fighter and fearless. He walked to two men firing and he didn't ditch her back. Instead, they paused and started backing away. He held their throats, said something and then crushed their windpipes. Using one hand, one freaking hand. Are you kidding me? He's insanely strong and the way his back muscles boast on his action. Yesterday I literally actually drooled over him like I it was dripping down my chin. God, the more I try to stay away from him, the more he manages to make his space in my head. Now I miss him. Dante misses him. He wouldn't even want to see my face at the moment, I'm sure. Because I planned his death for the second time, I tried to erase him. The thing in my heart was real, he made his pace in my life. I let him invade and stay. My routine is normal, like it was before him. But something feels missing, like a piece of puzzle is missing. Lost. My thoughts stray when Dante appears from the room. I quickly turned the screen off. Dante came and hugged me. I know he's bored. Back there, he had Bam and him. God, me and my son are missing a man whose name we don't even know. Snuggling, snuggling on my side, he sniffs me. He does that. It's the fact that he always see, has seen me and no one else. Will was mostly outside when he was a baby. He would come for a day and then be gone. Dante, Dante hardly remembered him and then he was gone. Will don't take pictures, so I don't have any pictures either to show him his dad. I hugged Dante to myself. Oh, mommy, he exclaimed, and I tickled him. He laughed and pushed my hand away. Mommy, he called me once I stopped tickling him. I want Bam, an uncle, he says, and I tense. I know, baby, but it's not safe out there, I told him, and he fiddled with his fingers. You're my big boy, right? He looked at me. Try to understand. We can't go out. This is the safe house. I told him and he hugged, hung his head low. When this is over, I will get you a pet, I told him. He looked at me, his eyes sparkling and a wide smile on his lips. I love his smiles. I felt a little better when he smiled because I know he needs space and the world. But right now, this is not less than a bliss. But all good times are meant to end. Dante was telling me all what pets he wants and a blast or could. The entrance door flew over the couch as I ducked down with Dante under me. I quickly flipped the couch and took my glove from there. We have been attacked. Again. But how did they find this place? I looked back at the monitors and they showed the same image as before. Hacked. My system has been hacked. In the smoke and dust, Dante and I coughed. I peeked and saw a few men entering. Take the kid. Two men reached and I shot them dead. It's futile, Ryan. My heart thudded against my ribs. It can't be. It can't. Give him to me and go back to what you do. Be the killing machine the people want you to be. He spoke. I peeked and couldn't believe my eyes. That was him. But an older vision. White hair and beard, but same green eyes. Will? I asked and he laughed. What? You died? Right. I forgot to fill in that part. It was vague. He spoke and I was shocked. Why? And how did you find me? I asked and he stared at me dead in the eyes. I feel more safe under those dark psycho eyes than his. Well, 
Finding you was easy. There is a tracking chip in your arm. And for the first part, I trained you to be a pawn. But then you had to ruin it with that child. I was okay. It was going okay. All okay. Until he came. I trained you to be the best assassin. And when you became the best, you left everything for him. He used to, you used to bring money. And then you brought him. You decided him over us and the wealth. I gave you a chance. But you are so stubborn. That is your best quality and your downfall. A few days back, I tried to take him away so you could be the finisher again. But no, you have to save him. But then you know what? This child, he could come in handy. He's young and can learn and just imagine him being shut up. No. My child will not go that path. Don't you dare. I told him and I was on verge of breaking and bringing chaos. See, exactly that. This child ruined you. I covered Dante's ear, but he heard it as he looked at me with tears in his eyes. Don't you dare. My baby is the best thing that have happened to me. I shouted at him. Spare me the crap and give me the child, he said, and I pulled Dante behind me. Never, he's my son. See, I can do it the other way. Give me the damn boy. No, I pointed my gun at him. One of his men moved and started coming to me and I shot him. You don't have to do this, Will. Please, I begged him. He massaged his forehead and for a second I thought... He would change his decision, but a jolting pain crossed my stomach along with the bang. I fell on my knees. Mommy! Dante shouted. I covered my wound. He shot me, and when I looked at him, he was smiling. I loved him. And he? Someone came to take Dante. I held Dante to me. My breathing exhalated. Someone tried to take Dante from me. No, I said in a whisper. Mommy, no, Dante hugged me tighter. Despite my struggle, they took him from me. Dante, I whispered. No, Mommy, I want Mommy. Mommy, I don't want to go. Dante cried and my heart threatened to explode. I leaped for him but fell on the floor with a groan. Dante... I looked over and saw my baby struggling to get to me. I tried to drag myself to him, but Will stepped on my hand and he pressed his heel on my hand. I whimpered, but he didn't stop. He kicked me on the head and the last thing I saw was my baby struggling to get free and calling me. I tried to drag myself again for him, but couldn't. They took him away. They took my baby away before leaving I saw a man planting a bomb with a timer. I breathed heavily, but then Dante came to my head. I got up and limped to the emergency exit. It is like an airbag with much more force. It pushes the body up and the subject falls in the river. I fell in the river. I moved to the side and an explosion occurred. I tried to run over to the sound of the vehicles. I ran and ran, pressing my wound. I sat by walk. When I couldn't summon the energy, it hurts. My hands shake from the pain. I hurt someone. Whoever it is will die by my hands. I hid behind the tree and waited for my prey. Blood leaked from my wound. But when I tagged him, he was the least I expected. It's him. He's here. He. My eyes sprung open and I found myself in a dark room. I don't recognize the room. I looked around for my baby. Maybe it was all a dream, but as I moved, pain exploded in my stomach. My head started to ache. I looked around, then I looked at my arm. Um, I ran a hand over my arm, but I found nothing. Then I ran my hand on my right arm. There it was, the chip. 
I sat up and looked around for a sharp thing. I saw a knife over a fruit basket. I stood up and took many steps to the table. I grabbed the knife and jabbed it into my skin. I twisted it until a chip fell on the floor. I picked the chip and broke it. My hands started shaking. Don't say. I took a huge step to go and get my sand, but I fell on the floor. I got up again. Tears fell from my eyes non-stop. I finally made it out. With the spot of wall, I walked to find the exit. I took a moment to deal with the pain rocketing in my stomach. Who asked you to step down from the bed? A thunderous cold caused me to jump. I looked up and he was charging on me. Where is your nurse? he asked. And what did you do? He held my bleeding, bleeding arm. I snatched my arm away from him. Dante, did you? I'm looking for him. He cut me off. He tried to take me, but, take me back, but I pushed him away. I need to get my son. I told him when he glared at me. You cannot do that in that state, he told me. The hell I can't. I shouted with a force that caused me more pain. No, with that, he picked me up bridal style. Let me go, I told him while pushing at his shoulder, which did nothing. Please, let me go, my son. The first sob rugged my body. He is there with him. He is going to hurt my baby. I told him and sobbed again. He placed me on the bed and the nurse came running. I was looking for her. And what happened to her hand? She asked. He glared at her and she shut up. I tried to get off the bed but he held me and I banged my fist on his arm and sobbed. He held my chin and made me look at him. Calm down, he told me. No, he commanded me. Dante, I whispered. I will bring him back, I promise, he told me. And I just stared at him, my heart clenching for my baby. But I had nothing but to trust him. Promise? I asked in a broken voice. Promise. Jungkook, not a day she can stay still. I have witnessed the most bizarre things. I have performed the most bizarre things. But for some reason I can't see her cry. My heart constrict in my chest as I see her wail. No doubt I love those tears, but not like that. Not when she almost died and wailed for her son. I know she loves her son. Love is something that I can't understand. Something that I have never witnessed. Not from even my own mom. But seeing her like that... A different kind of emotion is heading up. She gives me so much emotion. And that's bad. Really bad. I don't have emotions. My life has been without it just fine. And I can live without it just fine. But right now, I will move the mountains for her. Nurse bandaged her arm. And I assume she removed the tracker from her body as I saw a chip on the floor. But the question is, who put a tracker in her body? Did she know? Why? Putting all those questions aside, I sat by her as she cried. This is different for me. With those tears, she's moving my world. Let's not focus on them. The nurse went outside, leaving us alone. So you said he will hurt him. Do you know him? Can you tell me who is he? I asked and she kept her head low. He, he, she cleared her throat. He's my dead husband, whom at least I thought was dead, but it was a game. I refused to be the finisher and he took my son. He wants my son to be a killing machine. I don't want that for my son. At least not now. He's a seven-year-old child. She cried and hid her face in her palms.
All my fault, she blamed herself. I couldn't control and I fisted her hair in my fist and made her look at me. You ever blame yourself for the deeds of someone else and I will rip you. I growled at her face. She fisted my shirt over my chest as she, she let the tears fall and closed her eyes briefly. She opened them again, but nothing was different, but the grief was escalated. I just want my Dante, she whispered. And the devil promises you to bring your son to you, I told her, and her eyes went wide. She tried to pull away from me, but I held her in place. Instead, I pulled her closer and joined her forehead with mine and licked her tears from her cheeks. Now take a rest because I have to scare counts with you. I told her and smirked. She just stared at me, not taking the bait. Leaving her was like I was dragging a rock with me. I gave Adrian the information and within an hour we located the he had been in and out of a warehouse, as we have been told, and I am going to get him by his throat. I slipped my mask on, and the game is on. Dante, I want my mom. I want my mom. I cried, hugging my knees to my chest. Snot runs my nose, but I don't want to be here with those bad guys. They hurt my mommy. They didn't give me food. Mommy would fuss over me to eat. They took me here yesterday. They threw me on the floor and my arm hurt from that. One of them slapped me at night because I was crying. Now he stares at me. But I want my mom. Let me go to my mom. I called them and the one who shot mom came to me. He came to me and I scooted back. He's scary. I don't like him. He came and held me by my hair. Momet held my hair when she brushed them, but it never hurt. Now it hurt. Say that again. He spoke and his mouth stink. I want my mom, I told him weakly. A few seconds later, a hard surface collided with my cheek and I screamed. I was on the floor. He slapped me. I tasted something weird in my mouth and when I touched my lip, it came back red. He again jacked me with my hair. I sobbed and he held my chin in his brutal grip. Your mom is dead. Gone. I killed her. He shouted in my face and I started shaking. He pushed me away and laughed. Such a pathetic soul. Your mom was strong but not enough to beat me. But now you will see that I turned you in too. He spoke and I cried. Mom. I cried and he glared at me. I want my mom. I shouted back at him. He charged at me and I covered my face with my arm, ready to take his blow. What will happen to Dante? Will Wine ever get to see him? To know, wait for my next video for next week. And see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also share, man. And also comment because I love reading your reviews. So... See you next time. Bye.